on my feet and kind of just cleaned up so I don't yep. look so bad. Yeah, absolutely. Now, because your circulation's not great, um, Medicare will pay for you to come in and have me do this every couple months. Yeah. Most people don't need to be here right at two months. No, I probably don't need every two months. Right. I'm going to just raise you up a little bit here. Um, most people, two and a half months is good. And I, it, you know, when it gets bothersome and my those toes hit the top of my shoes. Yeah, exactly. That's when I get excited. So you worked, you said, as a travel writer. I was a travel writer, yeah. For a magazine? Uh, or? For, I freelance. Okay. I wrote for lots and lots of different magazines. Um, you know, back when I had a resume, I had them all. Yeah. And all that stuff listed. I did a lot for AAA, but the, the, I wrote for Adventure Road. I wrote for, um, oh, what was I, a long time for uh, Good Age. Um, I did a um, good age. Is that like the art magazine? Uh, well, it's for it's not art. It's for um, it is for the uh, mature population, but mm -hmm. but it's uh, separate. And so you and, mostly did stuff in the U.S. You no, know, yeah, yes, mostly. But then I also I you know traveled to different countries as well, and and so the stories out of those um, fun one was. I did one on the in the footsteps of Picasso, and I was in Spain and went to all the places that he identified as his home base. Mm -hmm. um, so I did things like that, you know. Yeah. But I was careful because I didn't didn't want to be gone the lengths of time that you have to to do a lot of international stuff. To work for National Geographic, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Now you said you have six kids? Yes, I have six children. Are they all nearby or are they all over the country? No, or? Well, I have three who are nearby and three who are not. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, normally I trim off whatever part of the nail is not attached, and that's going to go back pretty far. That's are you comfortable with me doing that? No, I'd, I'd rather have some nail. Okay. I, so I'll leave it like here, but we'll thin it out. Yes, thin okay. it out. That's basically what I want. I still want to be able to wear my sandals and Okay. Well, I'm just going to trim off some of the thickness here then. Yeah. Um, it's the thickness that bugs me. That was a big piece. Big chunk. We love big chunks. All right. So let's... Um, I know they scanned your list of medications, um, mm -hmm. but it didn't get into your chart yet. I'll look at it. But are you on any blood thinners? Yes. You are? Okay. Yes, yeah. What do you take? Uh, warfarin. Warfarin. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to move over to the other foot. Okay. Okay. Did you nick yourself here a little bit? No, I don't think so. So just, oh, it might just be some nail polish. No. So do you still travel a lot? No. No. My health is not good. Okay. It's not last, you know, after my husband died. I had my hips replaced. Then after that, a lot of other things started to go. I have, I've had a paralyzed diaphragm for years. A virus that I picked up when I was traveling mm. for writing. Um, attack my diaphragm, that nerve that operates the the phrenic nerve, the, yeah. yeah, and paralyze that left diaphragm. So then arose asthma and all kinds of problems. So you have a tough time breathing then? Yes. Yes, my chiropractor said you just didn't get a very efficient packing. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. got you to your 80s. <laughs> yes, it did. And you still have your sense of humor. I have a sense of humor. <laughs> Not much 
should have been anything else, but I do have that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, you definitely, for someone in their 80s to wear black nail polish, there's definitely some cachet there, so. <laughs> uh. You kind of have to do something. You do. You know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use um, a sander. Yes. And okay. so you'll feel the vibration. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start over here. It shouldn't hurt, but if, if you feel anything that hurts you, let me know, okay?
sink in there, just a little bit more. I think we got all your nail okay. polish off too, so well, well, I'll have to. go get a new pedicure. <laughs> okay. Now you just need to be careful when you're putting socks on and such because some of this is still not attached. Okay. So yeah. if you snag it under the front yes. here, it could pull I, it off. I realize that. Okay. If that happens, it happens. Okay. You know, I try not to. Irritate it. <laughs> All right, and then you had some calluses also. No, then you'll see on the bottom. Just the, you know, there's just some roughness there. That one toe. Oh, on the tip of the toe. And, I, and then. And then, you know, if you look, the sides of my toes sometimes get kind of, mm -hmm. kind of flat, and there's a ridge. Yep, that that you can't do anything you about. That's oh, okay. just if the toe is sitting up against the other toe. Okay. That skin gets pinched between okay. the ground and the other okay. toe. So, okay. all right. So let me just um, uh, let's do this. Go ahead and put your feet out mm -hmm. and. I'll get those calluses in just a second. But thank you for letting us do the video. Mm -hmm. Sure. And they're not, the calluses really aren't too bad, but I just okay. thought. I'll get those in one second as here. Yeah. As long as I'm in here, let's yeah. turn, you know, just kind of find those, whatever you need. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 